Hey guys, I just got sent this video. It's from Ali Abdal. Uh, apparently he's mentioning the Opal app. Have you tried downloading an app called Opal? Yes, yes. Why don't we just do it right now? This image here, right here, is incredible. I'm gonna check it out with you. I'm really excited to do that. And so then I asked Jane, like, what are you currently doing that's different from this? Like, what is stopping you from living this as your ideal day pretty much every workday? She said, well, the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I scroll. And at nighttime, you know, I struggle to get to bed because I'm scrolling. And I was like, okay, great, you're scrolling. What sort of apps are you scrolling on? She was like, oh, YouTube and Instagram. So yeah, scrolling is often what uh, gets us away from what we want to do and uh, more into something we don't want to do. And so that's something that we're very you know, conscious of uh, at Opal. And I think like Ali does an amazing job at just describing, okay, you know, here's the ideal life that you want. Here's your ideal day and what is actually going on in your day. And then how can you, you know, fix what uh, is going on? And I was like, okay, cool. Have you tried downloading an app called Opal? Yes, yes, that's amazing. I mean, I didn't, even, I, this is the first time I'm seeing this video and I love how he brings the context of, you know, have you tried downloading an app like Opal as a first step to kind of get you to go towards your ideal life. That's pretty, really cool to see. I'm excited. And she set it up so that from 9 p.m. at night to 10 a.m. the following morning, all offending social media apps were blocked. And she just did that in those 30 seconds so yeah, uh, this is amazing to see a schedule so organized and actually the Opal app kind of works like that. You can create your schedule and block apps at certain periods of time. Like the most common one is called work hours, nine to five, but there's also, you know, uh, mornings, for example, you know, you can have a mindful morning where from 6 a.m. to let's say 9 a.m. you don't want to start your day scrolling. So that's a common session that people set up. There's also wind down in the evening or sleep. Uh, and basically you can organize your schedule around these blocks of time uh, that you're not going to go and scroll. I'm always like, why don't we just do it right now? If it takes less than two minutes, you may as well do it right now. This is, you know, another variant of the two minute rule. Anything that takes less than two minutes, just do it right now because otherwise you're gonna forget and life's gonna get in the way and all this sort of stuff. It makes me think though that we need to make the onboarding probably a lot faster because it takes more than two minutes. So by virtue of just downloading a single tool, which is in fact free, we have already made Jane's life better by you know preventing the scroll happening in the morning and preventing the scroll happening in the evening. Can I just say like this, <laughs> this image here, right here, is incredible. I love the check mark next to Opal. You know, scroll, Opal, check mark. You know, what if I decide to, I don't know, uninstall the app and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, yeah, you can always get around any system that you create for your life. But the whole point is the idea of nudges. We are, we are nudging our behavior towards things that we actually want. And importantly, I wasn't the one telling Jane that she shouldn't be scrolling at night. She was the one saying that like, yeah, I, I, I really wish I didn't just mindlessly scroll in the morning and in the evening. So yeah, nudges, there's a lot of research about this. I happen to have studied a lot um, on the research side before building Opal, and it's really actually what the science uh, on which Opal is built. Basically, the idea is, you know, if you want to adopt better behavior, what you can do is you can have very small things that you change uh, in your life that, that, that make it either you know, harder to do a bad behavior, for example, easier to do a good behavior. And um, you, you, you do that sufficiently over time and you can really have a massive, uh, massive impact. So yeah, Opal is uh, in many ways a nudge. You know, it basically will block the screen, will give you a message that sometimes is funny or, you know, make you smile or make you think when you try to open compulsively an app and that can have a pretty big impact over many, many uh, days, weeks, months um, on your life. We're just nudging ourselves. If you've got a video game addiction, just simply unplugging your PlayStation and putting it in a cupboard is gonna be a nudge that will encourage you to spend less time on the PlayStation. Of course, you could just take it back out of the cupboard again and you could just set it up. But the fact that you have to do that, the fact that it's an extra amount of faff to set up the PlayStation means that your brain is unlikely to go there in a moment where you feel like, oh, I haven't got any energy. And it's like, in, in those moments, we tend to default to the easy thing rather than doing the hard thing of uninstalling Opal and trying to get around its app blocking systems and stuff. And you know, a few days later, she messaged me being like, yeah, I haven't scrolled at all. It's like, great. <laughs> By just installing a single app, which is free, you've just eliminated this like scourge from your life and you freed up a lot of your own time. So I'm gonna just interrupt here to say, you know, it's really interesting 
uh, to talk about. Yeah, continuous progress is super important. Having like measurable, tangible progress is, is great. And we're working a lot on that. Um, one of the ways we help people is we save them time. We actually are able to measure that um, someone who starts using the Opal app uh, has a certain amount of screen time. And then after they use Opal, their screen time decreases by one hour and 23 minutes uh, on average per day. That's a lot of hours and that adds up to a lot uh, over a year and over a lifetime. And so you know, as a matter of fact, to date, um, if we add it all together, we've saved over 100 million hours uh, in less screen time from everybody that's used the Opal app uh, to date. So super excited about that. So hey, Ali, that video was amazing. Like, thank you so much for making it. It's incredible to see like you having a real impact on someone's life and all these people that are watching these videos, um, like so aligned with uh, the vibe and uh, what you're putting out the world. So thank you.